Welcome to the Weird Hunter. In this video, we are about to embark on an extraordinary journey, delving into the astonishing realm of ants. From their massive numbers to their intricate societies, ants have some truly bizarre traits that challenge our understanding of the natural world. So, strap in and join us on this captivating expedition. Have you ever imagined a civilization that outnumbers humanity by six orders of magnitude? That's one and a half million times our population. But no, we're not talking about bacteria here. These remarkable creatures are ants. These tiny insects have managed to create a fully functional social order that rivals the complexity of human civilization. They have a clear hierarchy, with distinct professions and career ladders. They have moved beyond the hunting and gathering stage and have successfully transitioned to agriculture and animal husbandry. But what sets them apart, even more, is their ability to teach the young, care for the elderly and disabled, and even bury their dead. They have developed intricate systems of social organization, displaying a level of intelligence and cooperation that is nothing short of astonishing. And hold on to your hats because here's the real shocker, their method of reproduction. These ants can reproduce through cloning, ensuring the continuation of their species. This extraordinary ability has allowed them to outlive every other species that has thrived on their planet in the past 100 million years. However, as we'll soon discover, despite their impressive achievements, a simple infection can turn them into real-life zombies. It may sound like something straight out of a post-apocalyptic science fiction movie, but it's an unfortunate reality for ants. So, get ready as we delve into the mesmerizing world of ants in this episode of Weird Hunter. We will explore the astonishing numbers of ants on Earth, their collective weight, when they emerge, how they live, their agricultural practices, and the surprising similarities between their society and human civilization. Prepare to be amazed and astonished by the incredible world of ants. Let's begin our journey by diving into the mind-boggling number of ants that inhabit our planet. The sheer magnitude of their population is enough to leave anyone flabbergasted. To date, there are 14,218 known species of ants, and that's not even considering the additional 1,758 subspecies yet to be fully explored. Now, you might think you can estimate the total number of ants, but hold your breath because the reality is far more astonishing. Estimates put their population at around 10 quadrillion individuals. That's right, 10,000 trillion ants. To put it into perspective, the combined biomass of all these ants is estimated to be tens of billions of kilograms, exceeding the total weight of humanity as far back as 2,000 years ago. These tiny creatures have managed to conquer every corner of the planet, inhabiting all continents except Antarctica. They emerged around 110 to 130 million years ago, most likely in the supercontinent of Laurasia. Although scientists believe they evolved from ancient wasps, the exact wasp species that served as their ancestors is still a mystery yet to be unraveled. Now, when it comes to ants, size varies significantly. Some species measure a mere 2 millimeters, while others can reach several centimeters in length. One fascinating discovery from fossil records revealed that the largest ants in history belonged to the genus Formica. Females of this species could reach up to 7 centimeters in length, boasting a wingspan of up to 15 centimeters. Just imagine encountering an ant that size. Speaking of wings, do ants have them? The answer is yes. All ants belong to the Hymenoptera order, which, interestingly, means, membrane wing, in Latin. However, it's crucial to note that only females and males have wings, while worker ants, who make up the majority of a colony, are wingless. Now, let's unravel the mysterious world of ant reproduction. Worker ants, despite being technically female, have an underdeveloped reproductive system that renders them asexual. They don't reproduce themselves but play crucial roles within the colony. The privilege of reproduction is reserved for specific individuals, and the most common method of reproduction is mating between a male and a female. But here's where the ant reproduction story gets even weirder. Some ant species have more complex methods of reproduction. For instance, 
Worker ants in certain species can also mate and produce offspring, adding an extra twist to their already puzzling lives. On the other extreme, some ant species reproduce through parthenogenesis, where unfertilized eggs develop into female ants. In these species, there are simply no males. Let's test your knowledge. How do ants communicate within their colonies? Ants exhibit remarkable communication abilities. They use pheromones to mark trails leading to food sources and to communicate information about the environment and potential dangers to other colony members. This chemical communication system allows ants to navigate their surroundings efficiently and efficiently allocate resources. Ants' communication abilities are just one of the many incredible aspects of their society. But there's more. Let's explore the intriguing social structure of ant colonies. Ants have evolved highly organized societies, with a clear division of labor and specialization of roles. At the top of the hierarchy is the queen, the colony's founder, and her primary role is to lay eggs and ensure the survival and growth of the colony. Surrounding the queen are the worker ants, which make up the majority of the colony. Worker ants perform various tasks such as foraging, caring for the young, and maintaining the nest. They operate in a cooperative manner, communicating through chemical signals called pheromones to coordinate their actions. Another fascinating aspect of ant societies is their ability to practice agriculture. Yes, you heard that right, ants are farmers too. Some ant species engage in farming, cultivating fungus as their primary food source. For instance, let's take a closer look at leafcutter ants, a remarkable species known for their agricultural practices. These ants cut leaves from plants and use them to cultivate a specific fungus within their nests. They feed on the fungus, which breaks down the plant material into a nutritious food source for the ants. But it doesn't end there. Ants have even developed advanced methods of pest management in their agricultural practices. They employ bacteria and actinomycetes that produce antibiotics to suppress parasitic fungi that could harm their cultivated fungus. The social organization and cooperation found in ant colonies often draw comparisons to human societies. The division of labor, communication systems, and agricultural practices are strikingly similar to aspects of human civilization. Ants have evolved an incredible level of complexity in their social structures, allowing them to thrive and adapt to diverse environments. As we conclude this episode of Weird Hunter, we hope you've enjoyed this mesmerizing journey into the world of ants. These tiny creatures have defied expectations with their sheer numbers, astonishing achievements, and intricate societies. The next time you encounter ants, take a moment to appreciate the extraordinary civilization that exists right under our feet. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of ants. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and never stop hunting for the weird.